All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rechakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth, and Shalom to all the Achim in the truth and sincerity, starting with the 144,000 and the one third of which we hope and are fighting to be a part of. All right, and this is the brother Chabar Yakal coming back, Lord willing, with another quick and edifying lesson. Uh, the title of this lesson is is yea and seven there shall no evil touch thee you know and that's from of course what i'm going to read job chapter five all right and um basically just going into you know all the evils that are coming on the planet earth you know the lord is gonna um you know protect us and defend us in that time because you know we trusted in him we called on his name we did what he told us to do so in that time you know the lord he's he's not he's not unrighteous to forget that you know, the Lord isn't like, you know, wicked individuals on the planet Earth. He's a righteous God, all right? He's a righteous power. Yahweh, all right? And his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a righteous power. He loves righteousness. So, so why would he not, not, you know, remember, you know, us, all the works that we did for him? Would that not be righteous of him to remember that? You know, he's a righteous God that loves righteousness. He's mercy, merciful. So this lesson is just going into the, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, having mercy on us, you know, the hopeful elect. Lord willing, we're of the elect, but having mercy on the elect in that time. All right. So I'm going to get Job chapter five. And I'll just get straight to the point. Start at uh, 19. I start at 19. Uh, it says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. All right. So the six troubles, that's going into like Jacob's trouble. All right. That's going into everything that's going to lead up uh, until those missiles fall. Because that's how Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be destroyed. And it's going to shake up the whole planet. All right. Because the scripture says the whole land is going to be utterly, you know, destroyed. Roughly paraphrasing. It says the whole land. So that means from the east coast of America to the west coast is all going to be wiped out. You know, and that's and that that's going to take a whole lot of power to do. And it says in Revelation chapter 9, you know, the number of the horsemen, you know, which is, you know, really speaking about the missiles is 200,000 thousand, which is uh, 200 million. So that's going to be more than enough to wipe this whole land out and also shake the whole planet Earth. You know, this is going to be one of the greatest, you know, destructions to ever take place. All right. When this is all writ, said and done and written in the kingdom of heaven, you know, because, you know, more is going to be added to the scriptures in the kingdom of heaven. You know what's happening now? This is going to be one of the greatest destructions, you know. All right. You got to think about that. Everything that's happening right now. You know, the scripture is a living book. You know, it, it doesn't just, you know, stop there. All right. But um, continuing on, it says, verse 20, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. So that shows you that famines are coming. All right. Also, uh, a lot of, you know, civil unrest. They just, you know, made that movie uh, earlier this year, not too long ago, you know, uh, Civil War. So that's going to be happening, too, especially, you know, with with um, if, uh, you know, Kamala Harris gets in, you know, there's, there's a lot of division here. All right. There's a lot of division in Babylon the Great. The scripture speaks about he shall set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. All right. Modern day Egypt is Babylon the Great. You know, look on a dollar bill. The pyramid is on there. You know, so there's a lot, a whole lot of division going on. All right. And, um, you know, it's only going to get worse. But the Lord's going to redeem us from that. He's going to, you know, protect us from the sword, which, you know, the sword is really sp speaking about these modern day weapons. You know, the sword is, it just means a weapon, you know, so the Lord's going to, you know, like it says. And in war from the power of the sword, he's going to redeem us and save us from war. You know, when people are kicking down doors, you know. You know, uh, uh, you know, people getting gunned down, you know, for the lack of bread, like it says in Second Ezra's, I believe, 15. 
You know, when, when, when people are, are, you know, there's all type of skirmishes and shootouts in the streets. The Lord's going to uh, get, keep us away from that. Okay. It says, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. And in the NLT it says, You will be safe from slander and have no fear when destruction comes. Because they're going to try to demonize us as well. You know, they're going to try to, you know, put us up on, on the news. You know, we're a bunch of uh, uh, T words. You know, I'm not going to say the word. But, you know, use your imagination. You know, they're going to say we're a bunch of uh, T words. You know. The, the T word that ends with ist. I'm going to just say that. It ends with what I-S-T. <laughs> use your imagination. They're going to try to say that about us. They're going to try to say, you know. Uh, uh oh, we're, we're uh, great grapuses, you know. We're um, we're we're a bunch of racists. We hate uh, fear mongering, you know. You know we're hateful. They're gonna say all type of things about us, you know, to try to you know get us locked up, just like they did to to our elders and apostles, you know, during 9/11. The same thing is gonna happen again. We're gonna be you know wanted, but guess what? He said. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. So the Lord's going to hide us. You know, they're going to try to say, you know, oh, look for these guys. If you've seen these guys, you know, report them. But the Lord's going to have it to where, we're, you know, we're hid from that. You know, he's going to have it to where we're completely, you know, hid from that. All right. Now, certain members, the scripture does speak about, you know, certain men being beheaded. But that's 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 not going to be the the um, majority of the elect. All right. The majority of the elect is going to be hid from that. And even those men, they do get beheaded. The scripture says the dead in Yahweh shall rise first. They're going to be the first ones to get, you know, uh, you know, resurrected and beamed back up and beamed up into a chariot and receive that that new body, that immortal, immortal body. You know, excuse me. Verse 21, that uh, matter of fact, verse 22, it says. So like you. Verse 22 At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth You know, so when destruction and famine comes You know, buildings being blown up You know, tanks You know, fighter jets, you know, flying through the city Just dropping, you know, bombs and shit like that You know, that's destruction when it comes We're not going to be afraid of it You know, we're actually going to be happy You know, Lord willing, we're the elect because we've been prophesying, you know, week in and week out for years that this was going to happen. All right. You know, all, all the way on up to our elders and apostles on down, you know, they've been prophesying, you know, 40 years, 40 plus years, you know, 20 years, 30 years, you know, all the way down, you know, 10 years, 15 years. You know, all the way on down to, to new believers just coming in, you know, we've been prophesying week in and week out. So guess what? We're not going to be afraid when it happens, all right? Now, I will say, you know, we're in the flesh, so we're going to have a level of nervousness. We might have weak moments. You know, even Yahweh Shai had weak moments. But ultimately, you know, the spirit is going to, you know, overcome that. All right? The spirit is going to overtake that that weak flesh, the weak nature of the flesh. All right? And we pray that Yahweh Shai keeps that spirit on us, that he strengthens our mind, you know? Like a good prayer that I learned from uh, Elder Apostle Racha is, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which that's the name of the Most High, you know, in the name of the Son. All right, Yahweh Bahashim in the name Yahweh Shai. Chazak, which means strengthen. Lab, which means my mind. Or Labia. You know, L A B Y A. Labia. All right, that's a good prayer that I learned from uh, the elder apostle Racha. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yashai Chazak Labia, which means strength in my mind. If you're feeling weak, if you are at work, if you're you know out in public, or you're just anywhere and you're just feeling weak, you know you're feeling like like you got a weight on your mind. You're feeling anxious. Anything, you know, just send up that prayer. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yashai Baba Kusha, which means please Chazak strengthen Labia my mind. This is that destruction of famine that shall laugh. We're going to be seeing, you know, people that, that scoffed against us, you know, starving to death. All right. 
which, you know, ho hopefully, <laughs> like a brother told me, you know, hopefully I'm not going to be anywhere near them because they're probably going to be in the city. They're probably going to be somewhere like in an urban area. I'm hoping, you know, we, we hope that we're not going to be anywhere near that. But, you know, but you know, we don't know where we're going to be at in that day, you know, but we just hope that we're that the Lord's protecting us and dealing with us to the point to where we could laugh at somebody <laughs> starving to death because we knew that they were scoffing. We knew that they that they were talking shit. They they fell out the truth. Whatever the case is, you know, we just hope we're the ones laughing at them, which is going to be the spirit of the Lord on us to laugh at them. It's really going to be the Lord laughing through us. You know, just like he speaks through his prophets, he's going to laugh through us too. Lord willing, we're those men. It says, neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth because the Lord's going to use the beast to, to, to do some serious damage, all right? He's going to use um, the, the animals... You know, to um, to bring a lot of judgment. All right, I mentioned in my my la the last video I, j I just got done doing. Uh, he's he's gonna unleash Leviathan. Okay, which is essentially so you, so you can understand Godzilla. You know, a uh, uh, a giant uh rep reptilian you know sea monster, which is in the book of Job as well. All right, Job forty, I think it's uh Job forty one, or Job forty two. But yeah, it goes into Leviathan and the Lord's going to unleash beasts that the whole world has never seen yet. All right. Not to mention, you know, the beasts that we already know about, you know, like tigers and lions, you know, leopards, wolves. The Lord's going to unleash all type of animals that are going to wreak havoc, you know, on people in the city. Just like during the um, the pandemic, you know, the pandemic, uh, going back to the end of 2019 and 2020. Animal like wild animals started going back into the cities because there were so few people there. The same thing is going to happen in these times, but on a on the highest level ever. You know, this is the time 